Hey there! In this video, we're going to be talking about two very important tools in the world of software development user stories and use cases. So if you're a business analyst, a software developer, a project manager, or just someone who is interested in how software gets built, then this video is definitely for you. My name is Steven Adindo, and I'm the lead coach at the Career Accelerators, where we help non-tech professionals transition into tech roles and secure six-figure salaries. So let's start by defining each of these tools. User stories are short, simple descriptions of a feature or functionality that a user would like to see in a product. They are typically written from the perspective of the user and they focus on what the user wants to accomplish. Use cases, on the other hand, are more detailed description of how a user will interact with a system to achieve a specific goal. They usually include a list of steps that the user will go through, along with any necessary conditions or assumptions. Now that we've defined each of these tools, let's talk a bit more about when you might use one of the tools or another. User stories are great for capturing the high-level goals of a user or for organizing the development process. They are easy to write and understand and they allow developers to quickly see the big picture of what the user is trying to accomplish. Use cases, on the other hand, are more useful for detailing the specific steps the user will go through to achieve a goal. They are especially helpful for identifying edge cases or exceptions and for documenting complex interactions. So which one should you use? Well, that really depends on your specific needs. If you're looking for a quick and easy way to capture the high level goals or needs of your users, then user stories sounds like the best way to go. But if you're looking to capture more detailed documentation of how a user will interact with your systems, then use cases might be a better option. Ultimately, the best tool will depend on your specific project, on the team members on your project, and on the needs of your team. Both user stories and use cases have their place in the software development process and it's up to you to decide which one is right for your project. Thanks for watching. I hope this video has helped you understand the difference between user stories and use cases and how to decide which one is right for your project. Now don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you're watching on YouTube or just leave a comment uh, in the comments section. Also you can like and share this video with your friends that are interested in this topic and interested in understanding user stories and use cases. Bye for now. See you soon. Bye-bye.